Yeah, so, hi. What we're not going to do is make any judgments about how I look. I am in bed, okay? And it is currently 5 to 10. I'm waiting for the power to come back because thanks, Iskom. And um, it's been a hell of a morning. I woke up quite early. This, of course, is the beginning of another vlog. I woke up quite early um, because sleep was gone. And so I woke up and I edited the vlog that I literally finished yesterday. So I edited it. It's going to go up tomorrow, which is the, which will be the 18th of December. And uh, it's it's been a pretty much quiet uh, week. We closed pretty much at work earlier on this week. And I've just kind of been living my life. Been sick, so I spent a lot of time at home. Uh, had some things being, you know, fixed at home and all of that. Spent some time with my sister. Went out yesterday because we had no power for four hours. And I'll be damned if I stay in the house without four, without power for four hours. And um, I'm I'm not I'm not being, um, you know inconsiderate of the people who actually don't have power please let's not do that um but uh I i'll be damned okay i work really hard to put power and whatever and the government can just sort of so anyway um so i went out and i just went to go take a walk you know by the mall Ended up purchasing two dresses, <laughs> a really lovely dress from Refinery that I thought I was going to wear on Christmas Day, but it seems like we have a theme at home for Christmas Day, and this was discussed tomorrow, yesterday. <laughs> this was discussed yesterday. I'm feeling a little bit delirious now because I woke up early, now I feel a bit sleepy. You my chat? So we discussed there's a theme and the theme is black. So I'm not sure what I'm going to wear. Um, I'm not sure because the dresses that I got are not black. <laughs> um, anyway, it's fine. I'll wear one of the dresses for New Year's Eve because it's just too adorable not to wear. And uh, yeah, I just kind of loitered around the mall, uh, sat somewhere and that's where i started reading this better i think so can you see me hi so yesterday i started reading this one this is um i finished reading what moves the dead which i think was my 40th book for the year i also finished reading heaven by i was listening to it on scribid on script um, here we go. I literally, literally finished reading it, rated it. I think here yeah, I want to rate it a four out of five, actually. Yeah. Um, really, really sad, sad, but short book, um, about, you know, this kid who is being, oh, the author is Meiko Kawakami, of whom I have her or his excuse me, or there, I've got their other book, Breasts and Eggs, which is sitting in my car, and um, Heaven was amazing, a really sad story, written really well, but a sad story about this young uh, boy who is in primary school, and he is being bullied by uh, his classmates, roughly, hectically so, um, not just small bullying like these small angina types of bullying like hectic bullying and um he you know he he's at school every day and then one day he sees a letter a note um underneath his desk i think <clears throat> and the note is by one of the other classmates who wants to be friends with him and 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 um that's that kind of stuff and he keeps receiving these notes, receiving these notes, and then eventually 
the last note that he gets is, you know, do you want to maybe meet up after school or something like that? So, of course, he's keen to know who this person is who's asking him what's your favorite color or what's your favorite this or favorite food or whatever. So he's keen to know who this person is. And it's a young girl who is also in his class who's also being bullied by the other girls of the class. So they strike up a really, really beautiful, just innocently pure friendship because of what they share in common, but also because they're just, they're just really great kids. Um, so the story kind of evolves with around this bullying and the friendship that they strike up with one another. And it's a really difficult story to read. I feel like if you, if bullying really triggers you, I highly do not recommend that you read this book. Um, but it's, it's sad. And I would love to say that it's got a, a great ending. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It's just got an ending. And, uh, yeah, it's a really sad book, but... Uh, so poignant in its themes and so um, just really important topics that are discussed in that book of friendship, you know, of bullying, of, um, you know, just struggling with trauma, of uh, self-identification, how you view yourself as a kid. Um, and it's it's really, really, it's got such great themes. So because of that, I gave it four stars and it's written really, really well. But the ending just kind of let me down a little bit. I think I was just hoping for a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. Anyway, so after that, uh, I finished reading that one or listening to it in the morning on my way to the mall. And then when I was sitting at the mall, I had James Baldwin in my bag. And this is Giovanni's room. And this book was written in 1920, 30-something by James Baldwin, who is a black <clears throat> author. And the book is set in 1950s Paris, okay? And you have... The story... I, I read the introduction of this book, okay? And James Baldwin was a black author, is a black author, who lived in 1920s America and gay and wrote a book on white characters <laughs> um, in Paris who are gay. One of whom, the one character... Uh, David, the white male character, is um, preparing to be married to a woman. But David in Paris 1950s meets Giovanni on, you know, over a brief period of time. Meets Giovanni over the span of about two months. And during this time, his fiance has actually left to go on holiday somewhere else. And he spends these two months with Giovanni, a black man. And after that, you know, they fall in love with each other and they strike up this amazing love and all of that. And after um, that two months is over, the fiance comes back and, of course, David just continues to, you know, move on with his life, you know, get married. And this, of course, devastates Giovanni. What James Baldwin did here was to put together sexuality and uh, love and sexuality and there's something else I'm missing, race. And he said that, in an interview that he did back then, because, of course, this book caused a stir. How is a black man writing a book about white characters? And, of course, the other black character. My alarm thing is going off because my power is back. But it caused a stir, and he was like, he just said in an interview that I was reading up on, where he said, how do you discuss race 
without discussing sexuality? How do you discuss love and race without discussing sexuality? Uh, because the characters are gay. And, and I was just, oh, I'm so excited to read this book. I cannot tell you how excited I am. So anyway, let me go. Let me get out of this bed. Uh, I've been drinking tea and water since five o'clock. And I'm kind of ready to get on with my day. So, yeah, let me go switch that thing off. Maybe I'll read for about half an hour and then I'm going to get up and I'll tell you what the plans for the day are. Uh, hey chaps, we're downstairs. Um, <clears throat> I'm about to make me something uh, to eat. My hair is wrapped up nicely in a little because I've got some leave-in conditioner in there. So I just, I want, I want to just, yeah. So I feel like having, I bought some scones, scones yesterday um, when I was out because I didn't feel like baking them. But now, suddenly, today, I feel like baking. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> what? Um, so, <clears throat> right now, I'm gonna have two scones. They're quite small. It's not those big ones that you get at like your restaurants and stuff. So I'm just gonna have two. It's not very often that I will have scones with, um, um, what is this? with jam and cheese and whatever. Sometimes I do, but normally if I'm having them at home, no, I just have them with a cup of coffee, okay? Um, so my Nespresso is uh, powering up, it's getting ready. And I think today we're going to indulge ourselves by having that hazelnut Nespresso that I had the other day with a uh, chair, okay? So, here we go. Here's, here's the curly, here's the curly, okay? So we're gonna have one of these, ah. <clears throat> and uh, some oat milk. Uh, uh, I think it's take. And I needed to open up a fresh one of those. So here are the scones, my darling. Okay, I bought a little bit extra because. I'm going to have a guest um, later today. So, here we go. Got some scones. See? They're tiny. They're tiny. They're these really tiny little mamacitas. Mamacita. Way you at when you try to reach out. Um, so, I'm going to have this breakfast really quickly. Oh, my God. The skin is skinning. I'm going to have this breakfast really quickly. Is this breakfast or is it a snack? And then I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. I just want to catch up on some news. And then, yeah, after that, I'll catch you guys up on what the plans are for the day. Okay? Okay, love you. Bye. I'm going to be in my vlog. How does it feel? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Um, so 
so as you could tell I didn't have time to actually vlog in the morning because we had to rush out but as you could tell good sis got a tattoo baby I just needed to touch some things up and I will explain all about what the tattoo is what it means what it stands for and I also got the one done with the stars by my mother's name my late mother's name but I will explain what everything means a little bit later we're rushing home now so we can do a little something quick quick but we want to catch uh, Avatar because James Cameron because hello exactly so um, we're trying to rush home to to sort some things out fast and then go and watch Avatar but yeah Ooh, and it's an Elizabeth and Elizabeth and Yana Yang and it's a bit, but yeah, my little brother also got a tattoo done. And uh, by the looks of things, I think she's gonna probably back, be back in the next couple of weeks. But otherwise, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later, if not tomorrow. Okay. Why does your phone make us look so ashy? I mean, like, you are ashy as it is, but like, you don't have to look that bad. That's really bad. <laughs> It's the following day and this part of the vlog is starting quite late because I am about to prepare dinner but aside from that I'm I'm in a little bit of a funk today and before I funk you out <laughs> okay I wanted to show you that my giveaway packs are finally ready and I wanted to show you what is in the giveaway packs although um, don't worry it's gonna be on my Instagram information is gonna be on my Instagram information is gonna be on my YouTube um, community posts page section thing so don't worry so much about what we need to do or whatever I just wanted to show you what to expect in each giveaway Box. There we go. These are the two boxes. Let's just move them apart because then we don't we don't want them to look the same or you think it's one big thing. These are the two boxes for each of the giveaway winners. Now these boxes, as I said before, it's going to be um giveaway of my favorite things. So things that I actually really love. I love to eat, I love to put on my body, I love ambient whatever it is i love them for my productivity that kind of thing so i'll obviously package and wrap them differently to what you see now but this was just me collecting everything one by one and then putting them in there i might add one or two little bonus extra things but those will be for the winners to see once they open up the the hamper gifts kind of thing but i wanted to show you what you what is in each one as you know the boss planner is below there hence the hey boss um and then on the side here we've got a candle as you guys know i freaking love candles this one is called rose factory and rose factory rose fantasy and it smells absolutely amazing i have spoken about these in many a video forever times okay and i absolutely love it so i wanted to include it again I spoke about this this is the lana lab multi-purpose 
um, natural balm and I love it multi-use natural balm and then I added a sachet of the intense body cream just in case you might want to try it in case you might have you might want to try it and then maybe purchase it for yourself which is fine and then um, a sweet treat is also always always a good always a good idea and I really enjoy these uh, darling sweet salted soft caramels they're so so nice and I like to indulge myself in one of these every now and again so I added that skin strategy has one of the best face masks that I have used it's one of the best range for face masks that I have used so I picked up one of these and I slundered them in there this needs no introduction. I love this. I put it on my body every day. It's great for just daily spritz and spray. You can throw it into your bag. I don't know. Throughout the day. And of course, it can never be a cattle giveaway without a book. So I added the American Experiment for both of the giveaway uh, winners. And yeah, um, it, it's so nice to just enjoy yourself an easy, um, what do you call this? book romance book to test out if you really like to read romance or if you really just like to read it's easy to just read something quite light so i added that one too so pretty much that's what's in there and i might add one or two extra things but that's it my favorite stars of the show of course is the boss planner and the lano lab i love them and of course a book i'll never shy away from giving the winners so, um, so despite the fact that, as it is, I don't really feel festive this year, and I I don't care for um, Christmas this year. I don't care to decorate, and I've spoken about this in my life. I was taking a nap, so if my hair looks funny, I actually lay down to read, and I actually passed out, which is wild but um so i'm not feeling the christmas spirit i'm not feeling the festive vibe i'm not feeling nothing about this christmas in fact more than anything i feel quite over this christmas this festive season already the only thing i'm enjoying about it is the fact that i get to rest what is that Arts, 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 you little demon. Arts, you little demon. Uh, the only thing that I like about it is the fact that I get to rest and I get to sleep in in the mornings and not worry about, um, you know, having to get ready for work or prepare school stuff or whatever. So the rest and relaxation is the best part of this festive for me. Um, today I don't feel the greatest. Yesterday I went and I got my tattoos done and um, maybe a little bit later on I can explain what they mean and why I got them done, specifically where I got them done on my body and all of that. Maybe later we can explain that. I got some great book mail as well from Jonathan Ball. I got like four books from them today, which was awesome. Um, but I'm feeling kind of... I don't like to be vulnerable about my content online. And now we're talking about YouTube. I don't like to feel vulnerable about my content online, but I'm feeling kind of let down. And I don't want you guys in any way to feel like, oh shit, what we do to her now? But uh, I've been following and analyzing my content and my analytics for December. And I wish you guys knew how much I break my back to put up content. And especially in the months for Vlogmas and Vlogtober. I'm just not happy with the numbers. I'm not happy with, not my subscriber count, no. I'm not happy with the view count of the numbers. And 
and I'm just like thinking to myself, why am I putting so much work and time where every other day I find myself editing and every other day I... Why am I breaking my back like this? If this is... These are the numbers that I'm going to get. It just doesn't make any sense for me. For the amount of... Um, subscribers that I have. I don't know what it is. Um, and I try to put up content that you guys enjoy hence why i will make sure i'll do candid with cats and unpopular opinions and i'll share a little bit of my life with you guys in the sense that you know what i do and all of that but i'm just not happy with the views and i find myself asking myself then why am i bothering to drop three, four videos a week when I can just drop a video a week, right? When even with the amount of videos I drop a week, I don't see any changes with the numbers. Oh, that thing happened just in time because I was just going to ball the fuck up. I'm, co I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. So that's, that's pretty much my story. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I need to change and if you guys feel like there's something that you could enlighten me on that I might need to change without being insulting or without being like oh well you're you're boring now okay if I'm boring now then unsubscribe let's let's not do that to other children especially in the festive season where we want to spread cheer and be merry. Let's not be the reason why someone is upset. Okay. Um, but if there's anything constructive, then that's fine. I just, it's making me so uncomfortable to talk about this because I just keep it pushing. I'm not going to sit here and be that content creator that, um, Every now and again, I'm ranting about something or other. You know, this thing is not straight and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> it still isn't straight. It still isn't straight. But every now and again, like, I, I'm not that kind of creator. I just push and I keep it moving. But I've reached the point where I feel like I'm stalling. I'm stalling and I I don't see why I need to put in as much effort as I have been if this these are the numbers I'm gonna be looking at you know you are stressing me the fuck out how about that thank you that's actually straight now so It's actually quite upsetting to talk about. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Maybe we'll talk about it later. I am going to prepare myself dinner, which dinner consists of a salad. It's a liver salad from Tasha's. Because my sister and I were at Tasha's earlier on this afternoon. And I had the liver salad and she had something else. And I loved it so much that I said I'm going to take it again for dinner. So that's what I'm going to make now. I'm literally going to throw it into a bowl. <clears throat> but I'm kind of down in the dumps, folks, my friends. Uh, let's make some dinner.
Okie dokie. Hello, friends. Um, it's a new day. And I think we all know that yesterday wasn't the best day for, for good sis, okay? Um, but I'm just pulling into Builder's Warehouse now uh, because it's December. <clears throat> and in December, I promised myself and my plants that I would pay attention to them. So I'm coming into Builder's because... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm coming into... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, got a perfect spot. Just came out. Okay. I'm coming into Builder's because I need a couple of things. I want to um, repot and also propagate some of my plants. Um, because I just haven't been giving my plants love. And as you can see, there's the, the yellow, the distinct yellow of Builder's Warehouse behind me. And so that is what I want to do. Um, so I need to pick up a couple of things before going back home and sorting all of that out. And I'm going to show you what it is exactly that I have planned to do. I'll be propagating for the first time. So we'll see how that goes. Um, for the most part. Please do not bang into my car, sir. Good sir. All right, so we'll see how that goes. Let me pop into builders really quickly and then let's do this. Two times want you be mine. We just can't pretend. This love thing can take time. Three times then I'm in. I heard through the grapevines. You miss and I play time. Girl. Mm -hmm. Your beauty make them bow down. I need that body right now. Love will never die down. Together we can fly now. So baby, don't you ever be afraid of falling love? I'm heading home now. And we're gonna sort out this plant situation. I haven't eaten. I'm so hungry. But uh, we will eat once we have sorted out everything. It's currently 10 past eleven and uh i need to i popped into builders i got what i needed from builders you probably would have seen that by now and then i went into checkers because i felt like having sometime this week today's what tuesday so sometime this week i feel like having a da -da 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 -da. i feel like having a seafood mix stir fry or pasta situation i don't even know okay but sometime this week so i went in to buy that and then i saw some of my favorite flowers that i can only find at checkers so i picked those up as well for just to brighten up my home um outside of my plants and then we're going to and then uh yeah, just some flowers to brighten up my home outside of my plants. And then after that, we'll sit down and we'll have a chat. I need to make food. I don't know even what I have in my fridge. It would be nice to know that I've got a piece of chicken just lying around somewhere or a steak. <laughs> but I know I don't. I know I don't. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I'm on my way home now. My hair is wonderful these days. I've discovered a trick. I, when you see me wearing my bandanas, know that I, that morning, I lathered my hair in leave-in conditioner and left it like that and put a bandana on and wore that bandana for two days straight. Afterwards, when I release my hair and I show my hair, my, my darling, my darling. Yeah, so I just, I, truth be told, I'm tired of my hair and I really just want short, short, short hair again. But, uh, hey man, I guess it be like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I guess it be like that sometimes. But anyway, let me drive, let me get home and then we'll do what we gotta do, okay? Bye. Hey friends, I'm officially home. 
uh, I had to put a couple of things into the fridge but now I'm in this section of the house because it's time for me to attend to my plants okay but before I show you that um, I'm going to be propagating them for the first time today I'm nervous about that I watched a couple of videos on how to do it so I'm hoping for the best um, we're gonna propagate two maybe three of them and then I might have to repot or rehouse some of my my fiddle leaf because it's out of control um, anyway so I went into builders I picked up some bone meal which is so important for plants this is what it looks like um, I already had some in my garage but I had the potting soil rather in the garage so I took that out and I put it outside we're gonna see to finish with that okay um, then we have gotten uh, pruners we got pruners because very important I want to cut the right way and not cut the wrong way and I don't want to be using my utensils for in the kitchen um, to cut if you're hearing some white noise it's because I've got my big door open you'll see that just now um, but I also got some a gardening tool set which has these this this and I bought the one that yeah yeah these are fine these are fine oh there's one that i forgot but it's fine and then i got the gloves and then i got all-purpose plant food very very important uh, i ended up leaving the water jug behind because i found that it was quite expensive and it just didn't make sense whose phone is ringing it just didn't make any sense for me so i've got water because it's ridiculously hot I will show you the plants that I want to work on and propagate and potentially rehome and depot and all of that. But before we get started, let me put my gloves on. Oh yes, I also got my favorite set of flowers from Checkers. Love them. Got two of these so that we can dot those around my house as we normally do. And now let's get to work chaps I don't know what I'm doing but you know what we're gonna be okay by the rates of things we're gonna be just fine all right so let's do this so here's the one girly I forget her name I forget the plant name for it but her roots are going nuts so we're going to make sure we need to propagate here and potentially maybe even depot because it's so small but we'll see we'll see and then we have got my darling monstera and again we've got a very long root as you can see um so yeah <sighs> we're gonna do the absolute most we're gonna try and then my biggest project is her look at her my biggest project is her so i need to cut down just maybe that whole part here cut that down and possibly maybe even repot it um, or propagate it maybe propagate one leaf and then repot the other we'll see, we'll see. let me be your parachute parachute yeah. one time out of ten four times on the state lines we fly till the end my hands on your waistline, sky high, feel the wind. Five times want you be mine. This love thing can take time, yeah. And no matter how long it takes, I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side forever. And no matter the ups and downs, I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side forever, yeah. So it's many, many hours later, like literally maybe two and a half, three hours later. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I finally got to deplot. De <laughs> I finally got to uh, propagate 
some my rubber tree plant i'll show you and i also got to depot my monstera which was really growing out of that small pot plant and i needed it in something bigger so i'll show you and also my other plant i forget what it's called but basically what i needed to do <clears throat> was i had a lot of potting soil and i also had some bone meal which is really good for when you are potting plants and of course the soil must be moist and the soil must be ugh, i hate that word <laughs> i hate that word i'm so sorry the soil has to be m-o-i-s-t okay and um so i had to ensure that i keep adding water and so on and so forth so this is what has happened since okay let me show you let me show you so this i actually didn't realize that there's water over there but this is the monstera it will i have repotted it so it will as time goes on as the soil settles i will ensure that i lift it but for now i don't want to disturb it so what i did is i cut off <clears throat> one uh, uh, piece of the monstera and i actually repotted that in a fresh new plant i thought i was going to propagate it but i didn't instead i repotted it and i'll show you that now what i did propagate was the rubber leaves from the rubber plant because that plant was completely completely finished so it, it was just in a bad way and i knew that there was no way of saving it except if i propagated it so this is pr pretty much going to take anywhere between four to six weeks and then once you start seeing roots in the water i do have to change the water every couple of days uh, three days or so so that it's fresh water um, but once you start seeing the roots grow, then I can pot it into a potter, a planter uh, with soil and some bone meal. So, so far that's okay. I've got it in three jars and uh, from that I think we'll be able to make maybe two small planters and try and grow, regrow a rub rubber leaf plant. So let's hope that works out. I don't know. This is the first time I was propagating. So we'll see. And then coming here, coming here is the fiddle leaf, which I have re I, so i cut this was the old one and i cut it and i am so bummed with how it looks up here oh that's the sap okay i'm so bummed with how it looks up top but it's fine it's a lot shorter than it was before what i did here is i cut up the top bit and i made sure i cut it in the right place where they were um little roots starting to grow on the sides of the plant so i put those in some fresh new soil as you can see with some bone meal and hopefully that'll grow i don't know i really don't know if this one is a win or if this one's going to be a fail but we can try i know that i need to keep this one watered at all times um m o i s t <laughs> at all times here we have officially repotted this one from a very very tiny tiny uh pot into something bigger so this is definitely going to keep this plant for quite a while i forget what this plant is called i forget but again, I mixed it with the potting soil and the bone meal. And I also need to keep an eye on it and water it every couple of days just so the soil stays M-O-I-S-T. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what that one looks like. It's a lot of work. I literally thought it was going to be an hour at most, but it ended up taking me an hour, 45 minutes. After that, I was so tired. I was just like, mm -mm, no, no, ma'am, <laughs> no, ma'am. And then this is the monstera that I broke off from the bigger one. <clears throat> and I instantly, immediately, instead of propagating it, I potted it into the pot. And that's pretty much what that one looks like right now. Right next to it is a candle. So I'll just switch it around. And um, now I have moved it. So we have our flowers here we've got our flowers here which is so great i love them they are so beautiful look at that they are so pretty especially for christmas time so pretty um but i am 
seriously considering getting another Monstera and possibly putting it over there next to the monitor. But we'll see. Um, ah, so pretty. And then I, that's one bunch of flowers there. And then we have another bunch of flowers here. Very Christmassy colors. I love it. Hey friends, uh, I'm coming in here to pretty much wrap this vlog up. I wanted to do a little thing of uh, my tattoos and the meanings of my tattoos and all of that. But in truth, there's a lot that I need to film. I'm about to record Christmas wrapping content footage. So I gotta go. This one is gonna end here. Sometimes it'd be like that. Okay. I always live in sharp on it. I got the chance. Live in sharp. See you in the next video. Always thank you for choosing me over and over again. And I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys are having a face face. I hope you guys are having a safe festive, a happy and merry Christmas. And you enter into the new year safely, happy, humbled, grateful, full content. Okay?